Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into another third earnest review. These videos are few and far between on the channel, but whenever I purchase something online or I buy something that I'm surprised with or something that I just think might end up suiting people's lives or they're wondering exactly how this type of product would work and if it suits them, I make videos like this just to get straight, clear, concise, and to the point. If y'all guys like this video and find value in it and want me to keep doing other product reviews, consider liking the video and let me know in the comments. And if y'all buy this stuff, let me know how it works out for you in the the comments i always read all of my product review comments in those videos y'all know what y'all clicked on recently i got a stray purebred german shepherd that was just dumped i guess by my parents house and they didn't have any room for her so i took her in and because she's a stray unfortunately there's always a chance that she was dumped by her prior owners but there's just as equally a chance that she got loose and she's been loose for a couple of weeks she was skinny when i got her she doesn't have any kind of chip to tell me who her owners are whatsoever so there's really no way of me returning her so i decided to take her in because i know that i can give her the life that she deserves. But again, because there's a chance that she got out, I decided that I wanted to get her and Nematep, who was my first dog, a Greyhound, I decided I wanted to get them air tags and try to use them as basically a way to find them should I need it. I really don't got to get into the air tags too much, but I found a product to attach to the collar, the air tag on Amazon. It's this product right here. I got the two pack of the Tag Vault Pet. Found it on Amazon. There will be an affiliate link if it's something that you think you want to purchase at the end of this video, but I purchased it because it is it's one of the only ones that I saw that screws in directly to the collar. It's not just silicone that like hangs on the collar. If the dog starts scratching, I don't want that stuff to wear down. I want it to be directly attached to the collar. The only way that it's not with them is if they slip out of their collar and that is not gonna happen. I've never used air tags before. I've never had any kind of system like this. So this is my first time and my first experience. So you're getting a true first review of these things. The setup was stupid simple. So simple, I'm gonna give you a short B-roll segment and not even have to talk over it because it's self-explanatory. Enjoy. All right, let's figure out how to do this real quick. Obviously, just like any other Apple product, whenever you get it close enough, it automatically recognizes it. So we're gonna hit connect. Again, I've never used AirPods before, so this is my first time ever even going through this. Name, AirTag, backpack, buy, camera, keys, luggage, umbrella, wallet, custom name. All right, so we're gonna do custom name, and then we're gonna do Elaine, continue. Choose an emoji, we're gonna go dog emoji, obviously, continue. AirTag is designed to be detected by victims and to enable law enforcement to request identifying information about the owner. See, that's smart. I don't know if any of you all know, but AirTags, I had a friend who most recently was driving. Her iPhone actually told her as she was driving that there was an AirTag in her presence and that was moving with her that didn't belong to her. 
So I know a lot of people are a little bit weird about these air tags because of that. But not only are you told here when you're signing up for it, but you're also told if one is moving at the same speed in the same location and the same distance as you. So you're never not knowing if an air tag is with you, basically. For me, we're just using it for dog purposes in case one of them runs out the backyard. And that's all that I'm using it for. So we're connecting. There you go. Precise finding when air tag is nearby, an arrow will point to its precise location. Play sound, finding your air tag by playing a sound from your iPhone. Type, notify when left behind, receive a notification whenever you leave your air tag behind. It's literally trying to find where I'm at. I'm trying to see exactly how accurate it will be because Lainey, Elaine, the dog, is literally right under my feet right now at my desk. Now, one of the main things that I saw whenever I was buying this dog attachment system, the one that you saw earlier, the one that was in the in the B-roll, basically, when I was buying this, one of the main ones that I saw that's, that gave it a four star review, it's still pretty high. But one of the main things that I saw was that the guy said that unless your dog is planning on swimming or being fully under water for any reason he saw the completely waterproof feature which is a pro he saw it as a potential con because he said that this made it almost soundproof he couldn't hear the speaker whenever he put play sound because it was being blocked by this completely watertight seal his solution was to drill was to drill a hole in the top which still works because it's still very secure but i want to know how loud or not loud it actually is so first off let's test that let's play the sound and see what it sounds like because i've never actually heard it outside of the initial hey i'm on I can hear it, but it's also right next to me. I don't know if you're able to hear that. Nima's is not on her collar yet, so let me go ahead and get it and let me take it out of its case to see exactly how loud the AirTag actually is compared to being in this case. If this is truly a sound barrier, I might not be able to hear it if I'm going to look for the dog. So let me go. Let me go play that one real quick. I'll be right back. This is Lainey right here, guys. Say hi. Say hi to the camera over here. Over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big girl. She's about nine, 10 months, maybe at the very oldest. All right, let me unscrew this one real quick and we'll see exactly how loud this one is. Before we unscrew, actually, it's already telling me it's asking me to it's asking me to set it up. So we might as well set it up over here. So let's play it without the actual casing on it and see how loud it is. So that was a little bit louder. Let me go and play Elaine's just to make sure the mic has a compressor on it. So right now you might be able to notice the difference, but let me play them both again. If you can't tell the difference in terms of in terms of loudness, you should be able to hear the difference in terms of clarity. This is Lainey again. All right, that's Lainey. And then let me go ahead and play Nima Tips. So yeah, even on the compressed mic, because of the way the compressor is set up, the, the one out of the case was still slightly louder. So at that point, it's kind of a personal preference as to what you care about more, I guess you could say. And if you don't care about the watertight casing either, you obviously have many more options when it comes to the case that you can try. There are silicones ones that are like, that kind of just sit right here. There are silicone ones that wrap around and then like hook on into the back. Those are all well and good, but Greyhounds particularly, she plays rough with, with the German Shepherd and they play rough together. There's a higher chance especially if they scratch at their collar there's a higher chance that that breaks and whatever the latch is that's holding onto it whether it be silicone is a chance that they tear through it or this one for me it's more important because this one is literally screwed into the collar this is screwed into the collar this is not going anywhere it's not moving up and down the collar there's no friction that's happening and wearing down the silicone or anything like that it is literally permanently attached to the collar that was way more important to me than the ability to take it on and off easily. At the end of the day, obviously everything Apple is gonna be extremely intuitive to set up. So that was a breeze. And setting up the actual tag vault was, was as simple as it was setting up the air tag. I am 100% satisfied. I was gonna drill a hole in order to hear it louder like the guy had suggested in the review. But in my mind, after thinking about it, I was like, it's loud enough. It's loud enough. And if they are so far away that you can't hear it, then you're not gonna be able to hear it anyway and you got GPS or Bluetooth location regardless. So I strongly recommend purchasing this. If you have a dog or an animal that you wanna get location on them and you wanna be able to actively go and search for them as opposed to passive and hoping somebody takes them to the vet and scans the chip and all of that, highly recommend it. Again, affiliate links are in the description for the Tag Vault. Hope y'all guys use it. If y'all do, let me know how y'all like it and I'll catch y'all guys on another review. Later.